hundreds of people in Brisbane, Australia, have staged a rally in support of asylum seekers who are being held in an inner city hotel. The makeshift detention centre is home to dozens of men who've already spent up to seven years in offshore detention facilities on Nauru and Manus Island in Papua New Guinea. Demonstrators say they should be released immediately. Our correspondent, Richelle Harrison-Pless, has the story. The banners draped over the balconies of this Brisbane hotel are a sign this isn't a regular hotel. Far from it. Around 100 asylum seekers from places like Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan have been detained here for up to 18 months. Today, hundreds of people have gathered on the street behind me to show their support for these men who were transferred from offshore detention centres on Nauru and Manus Island under a short-lived medical evacuation law. With the legislation controversially repealed in December, many detainees say they haven't received the specialist medical care they need and are being kept in the dark as they await their fate. It's infuriating and disgusting. Um, you know, these, these people inside are human beings. Um, no one deserves to be locked up for seven years, but no one, no one deserves to be denied medical treatment and adequate care. The main reasons why they have come here to seek medical treatment is because of the psychological torture of being in detainment. It's no coincidence that protesters chose this particular day to gather. This Sunday marks seven years since the Australian government further tightened its hardline immigration policy. That is, anyone coming to Australia by boat will be placed in offshore detention and permanently banned from ever resettling in the country. Seven years too long! Free the refugees! Seven years too long! Free the refugees! The country's treatment of refugees has been widely condemned around the world. Human rights groups have blasted the policy as inhuman and illegal. But Canberra says the measures are crucial to securing the country's borders and stopping migrant deaths at sea. Those gathered here in solidarity, though, say it's time to stop the suffering.